Hello everyone, welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So first things first, this is going to be a general energy reading for your Wednesday, January 8th, 2020. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't because it is a general reading. This is some reading for thousands of people, yeah? So this isn't necessarily going to resonate for everyone, nor is all of it going to necessarily resonate for those who, of whom it does resonate for, yes? Also keep in mind that time is an illusion and energies are fluid. So just because this is dated for the 8th of January, it does not mean it has to resonate at that time. Whenever you were guided to watch this reading, then there's most likely a message in it for you at that moment. Yes? So today is the day. It is Wednesday, January 8th. So we are having happy hour tonight. Um, but... It is also the officially the two-year anniversary of Divine Conversations on January 8th, 2018 is the day that I published my very first YouTube video, my very first card reading here on YouTube. It was, in fact, a Twin Flame reading, <laughs> um, and I did kind of briefly watch a few seconds of it this morning just because I was curious, but I'm going to later on today, I'm actually going to be, as soon as this is uploaded and published, I'm going to run out to the post office so that I can just to make sure there are no other packages left for me to acquire. Um, but while on my way there, I'm going to listen to that reading just, just to see, because I watched the, like the very, like the first 30 seconds of it or something. And and just, I sound completely different, you know, I'm just, I, I guess I'm more confident now. I'm more in my own energy. I'm, I'm in my own feels and whatnot. I'm in my own vibe, my groove. So it's, it's just a very different thing. So I would recommend if you want to check it out, go ahead and check it out. Um, it's prob and it's so funny because the title of that reading is release resentment, plan your next move. And I really, I really kind of feel like that is very relevant to the twin flame collective right now. Um, so that's another example of how, you know, these messages truly are timeless guys. Okay. Just because it, just because it has a certain date on it doesn't mean that it has to resonate at that time. Yeah. So, okay. So tonight we're going to have happy hour, 6 PM Eastern standard time. So as of right now, the floor is officially open. So if you would like to get on the list to get a reading for happy hour, all you have to do is send payment to paypal.me slash divine conversations. Uh, payment is uh, uh, payment for a, a single question meeting during happy hour is $5 off. So it's $25. Um, make sure to put your question in the notes, read the, look at the screen very carefully. There is a notes section at the bottom of the payment uh, uh, window where you can like write a note or something like that. Please make sure to put your question in the notes of that payment, okay? That way it's easier for me to access your question and I don't have to wait for you to like put it up in the live chat or something. It just helps the flow better. Also keep in mind that while we're in the chat, there is a bit of a delay. So often I'm just going to be rambling off whatever I get. If it resonates for you, if you have some sort of something to say about it, please go ahead and do so. Just understand that I may not necessarily see it. Well, I'm not going to see it right away, but I will do my best to keep up with the chat as much as I can. Yeah. So, okay. So we're having happy hour, but it's also going to be a mini birthday party for the channel. Woo! So, um, Ooh, I should probably get like some cake or something like that. I don't know, whatever, but I'm going to be opening a number of packages. I have four pack. Yes. I have four packages right now that I've been holding since like Christmas. Um, and I'm going to go to the post office today and see if I have any more packages that are going to be part of the unboxing. I am so super excited. Thank you all so very much for being here with me. This has been such an amazing two years. Starting this channel has been literally the most fulfilling thing I have ever experienced in my life so far. Huh. I'll leave it there. Yeah, this, this, it's been the most fulfilling thing I've experienced so far. Well, okay, other than the Twin Flame journey, to be quite honest, because that has been such a growth experience for me. It's ridiculous. Um, but this channel, I mean, like, you guys have been here with me for the past two years as I've been going through this craziness that is the Twin Flame journey and just life in general and this ascension process and all that. And I'm just so incredibly grateful for each and every one of you. For those of you that have been here 
since the beginning my ogs i love you guys so very much for those of you that are very brand new here i love you guys too welcome to the family for those of you that were here and now have, have since fallen off like i love you guys too even though you can't hear this right now but anyway um yeah so i'm really excited for that so even if you don't want to get a reading just come hang out during happy hour also i'm going to be going live on instagram around 5 15 p.m eastern standard time just for like a little pre-game reading for the collective and all that yeah excellent okay so, oh, and as you can see, I don't have coffee this morning. I've actually been, this is my no drama llama. Thank you, Sam. You know, um, <laughs> uh, I don't have coffee this morning. I switched to Sencha green tea as my first thing to wake, to get up in the morning. And then once I go to make breakfast and all that, that's when I have my coffee. Um, I've noticed that if I, I, I've been drinking like three cups of coffee early in the morning and like, one and a half of those was before I even had anything to eat, uh, which isn't the best. <laughs> it was it was starting to really affect me. So I've I've switched to tea. So this is why it doesn't look like coffee. It's sencha green tea with a little bit of honey. Mm-hmm. Delicious. Okay. <laughs> All right, kids. So let's get into the collective energies for today. I have your pre-shuffle here. I started with the six of pentacles, and as soon as the six of pentacles came out, I heard, okay. How do I give back to this situation? There's, there's an energy of wanting to give back to, I'm hearing a partnership to a situation to make something balanced. It's as if someone here is dreaming up a way to create, uh, to, to create or build a community, to build a home, to build a family, to build a structure, to build something stable, something grounded, something firm, something protective, something warm, um, just to build an environment for a relationship to flourish potentially. This also could be a business opportunity of something very philanthrop philanthropical. Um, but in reality, really what I heard and felt the first time I saw the Six of Pentacles come out was, how do I give back to this relationship? And then what came followed after that was the King of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles is in reverse, but it's a good thing, and I'll explain why. And you have the Nine of Cups here, which is satisfaction, wish fulfillment. Um, I'm feeling, especially with the Nine of Cups, I'm feeling, and this King of Pentacles, actually, the two of these combined, I really do feel like there's someone here who's standing in some sort of power, some sort of luxury, maybe. Um, this could be a masculine here, or this could just be you in, come on, are you really not going to focus? Like, what the hell is your problem? Thank you. Um, someone that is really, like, in their masculine energy, or is looking to take some sort of action, whatnot, whatever. Um, Okay, I just heard pride and ego stands in the way, but it's not as bad as you think. Let's get, because your overall energy here is the Ten of Wands. It's also, with on the other side of the deck, it's the Knight of Pentacles. And then the cards that were underneath these two wanted to pop out. They showed themselves to me. So underneath the Ten of Wands, we do have the Three of Pentacles, which in reality is kind of is is resonating with the six of pentacles energy of how do i give back because someone is looking to build some sort of some build something together um but also the three of pentacles is resonating with the king of pentacles in reverse here and i'll tell you why in a second but then also underneath the knight of pentacles is in fact the ten of cups okay and when the ten of cups when i saw the ten of cups a song came to my head it's I believe it's called, it's Because of Love by Janet Jackson. It's off her Janet album. Because of love, I know you better. Because of love, we are together. Because of love, you have a heart. Because of love, we'll never part. That song. I love that song. But that came to my head as soon as I saw, and I hope I don't, ooh, ooh. This is monetized. I hope, I hope I don't get in trouble for that. But but I love you, Janet. Anyway, um, <laughs> so uh, the Ten of Cups, once I saw the Ten of Cups here, that's when I really got it because I was already feeling kind of a relationship vibe, um, especially with the King of Pentacles because the King of Pentacles is like, is like the husband, the father figure type, right? Um, but then as soon as I saw the Ten of Cups, I was like, okay, well, yeah, this really could be a relationship. And even now, Spirit is saying that it's it's a relationship. But here's the thing. Here's the thing about the Ten of Pentacles. This, the, the Ten of Pentacles here in this deck, especially this side of the card, represents 
it, it, it speaks to someone who is really solid and secure within themselves and kind of feels like they don't really need to learn anything else about themselves. They don't really need to dive deep. They don't really need to dig in. They don't even, you know, they don't, they don't need to analyze or do much in the way of generating or cultivating more self-awareness. But that's in reverse here, okay? And with this Ten of Wands under, I'm sorry, with the Three of Pentacles underneath the Ten of Wands, the Three of Pentacles being an energy of self-mastery and building a solid foundation, even working together, there is an energy of someone really diving deep, someone really analyzing themselves, working on themselves, working on being a better version of themselves. And there is a little bit of an energy coming through of feeling less than inadequate, maybe feeling a little insecure, even though, and it's funny because I'm getting twofold message now with this King of Pentacles. It's like you, you are good enough. You are worthy. You are, you do have what it takes. You might be, you might be just being a little overly critical of yourself. Um, and especially with this 10 of wands energy here, it's like, you're, you're really burdened by this. This is something I really feel like this is something that you want to do. This is really what you're feeling called to do 11, 11. But at the same time, you might be feeling a little overwhelmed by it at the moment. And what I'm getting here is that number one, you need to be patient with yourself and you need to take it step by step, step by step, slowly but surely. See, that truck was confirming. Just take it step by step, okay? No one is rushing you into anything. You don't have to do it in any sort of time period or what or time frame or whatnot. But also just keep in mind that you know, you are capable of doing this. I mean, the King of Pentacles energy does technically represent Taurus, okay? And me being a Taurus myself, I kind of understand that Taurans are fucking tanks, okay? We can take damn near anything, all right? So I'm kind of getting, whether you're a Taurus or not, you could be another Earth sign, Virgo or Capricorn. And if so, then you, you would kind of understand this a little more than anyone else that wouldn't necessarily resonate with Earth sign energy. Because Earth sign is strong and resilient, okay? So regardless of whether you're an Earth sign or not, though, the vibe that I'm getting from this is that you absolutely do have what it takes. You have the strength. You have the tenacity. You have the wherewithal. You have the perseverance to, 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 to do what it is you want to do or to be the person that you're looking to be or to show up for yourself, for your community, for someone else, for like your significant other, your your love interest, your person, whatnot, whatever. You have what it takes to show up for them in the way that you know you need to, but most importantly, the, know, the way you know you want to. But then also here is the Nine of Cups, all right? Wish fulfillment, satisfaction. I, and I'm literally getting, with how this card is depicted, I'm literally getting someone being being very secure, very confident in who they are and what they have to offer, knowing that they're that they're going to get exactly what it is that they want. Having all of these, I, I just feel like this is someone that like, is very wealthy, is very abundant, and that wealth and that abundance doesn't necessarily have to look like material. It could be, I am kind of getting a bit of a material feel from this, but also your wealth and abundance could be energetic as well, just you just being well aware that you, you know, you have all of this at your disposal. You have the 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 the, the, the universe at at your back. You know the universe has got your back. You're taken care of. You're 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 secure. You're firm. I need some chapstick. Um. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. This is a good energy. I kind of wanna. I kind of still. I almost wanna like focus on this ten of wands more, but. I'm going to I'm going to reset. It's just that there's well, well also it's it's shuffled back in the deck now. But um with that 10 of wands energy, it was a sign or it was a a period or sorry, it was a the side of the card where it was depicting someone walking away from a stone statue that looked it was a stone stone statue of himself. Um, but he was walking away from that, carrying a bunch of, like carrying 10 wands. I do kind of feel like an energy for some of you where you're walking away from an old sense of self, and yet you're still kind of carrying some of the baggage associated with that. And with the King of Pentacles in reverse, that is the energy of, especially with the, the Three of Pentacles that was underneath this 10 of wands, that is an energy of you going within finding the abundance within and healing and going through a purging process even for some of you um, and going through the process of releasing all of those burdens, 
all of those 10 wands that have accumulated from the past so that you can move securely and firmly into this new future that you're looking to build with someone. Whether that be business or romance, it doesn't matter, okay? All right, I'm going to give this one shot. Oh, shit, look, there's that King of Pentacles again. <laughs> I love it. Okay, I'm going to give this one shuffle. The Four of Pentacles is on the bottom of the deck. Um, so we literally have just made an energetic shift from the Three of Pentacles to the Four of Pentacles, from the Three of Pentacles of someone doing the work to master themselves <laughs> doing the work to master themselves where they were in reverse and now they're upright king of pentacles upright moving forward to the four of pentacles with that confidence that security that stability that foundation and with the world oh shit with the world here okay that's a completion of a cycle and none other than the six of wands hey this was a hard won victory wasn't it i know that shit is right <laughs> So you better revel in this, hunty. You better. You better. Look, you, look, look. Honor yourself, okay? Be, feel pr be, you really absolutely should be 100% proud of yourself for the journey that you've been walking along. Yes? All right, I'm going to give this one more shuffle. And then we'll see. Aw, look. And now the Ace of Cups is at the top of the deck. Oh, guys. Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Here we go. And that Ace of Cups does absolutely symbolize self-love here, okay? Self-love, unconditional love that then carries out into the rest of the world. Yeah? All right, kids. Let's see what we've got. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved. Whoa, I'm getting a massive download right now. Oh, sorry. Um, please, wow, this is intense. Um, please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for our Wednesday hour hump day, <laughs> January 8th, 2020. Thank you so much, Spirit. Okay, guys, I'm gonna give this three shuffles here, but um, I wanna I wanna I wanna describe what was happening. So, as I started that prayer, um, I got this super 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 high pitched ringing in my right ear, and you know sometimes you, I'm sure many of you have experienced it where you, all of a sudden your rings will, your ears will just start ringing and it's really high pitched. There have been moments for me where it has been so high pitched that it's almost debilitating. Um, and this one was just like that. It wasn't very loud, but it couldn't be very loud. I mean, that the frequency of that pitch was piercing. <laughs> like it like you saw, it stopped me for a second because I was it was just like it was borderline painful how high pitched that was. And it, it was it continued for a while. Like, as I started describing it, I noticed it was actually still going. It's subsided now. Ooh. And my right ear, your right side, that's your masculine side. Interesting. All right. Well, I'm going to give this three shuffles now. <laughs> and we'll see. We'll see what we've got for today. Wednesday, January 8th, 2020. One last shuffle here. Alrighty, kids. Let me get sip some tea real quick. Okay. Let's see what we've got for you. Wednesday, January 8th, 2020. For the collective, please, spirit. What do you want to discuss with us today for the collective? Wednesday... January 8th, 2020. All right, I'm going to do this one more time. Just one more, they say. Then we'll see what we've got. Okay, Wednesday, January 8th, 2020. Yeah, 
Ooh, wow, that was a that felt like a dump. Okay, here we <laughs> here we go. Okay, we have the moon and the world on the other side. Wow. All right. Um, we have the six of wands again. Turn these upright. They were reversed. They were more sideways than they were reversed. I'm going to leave them that way. We have the Six of Wands again, also with the Six of Pentacles again, again, also with the Nine of Cups again. The Two of Cups, I'm sorry, the Two of Pentacles, the Four of Swords, the Knight of Wands, and the Seven of Pentacles. And then we also have the Seven of Swords with the Eight of Wands here. Now, um, I want to, I just want to show you guys that with both sides, with the Ace, with the the, the Eight of Wands and the Knight of Wands, we have lightning striking, okay? Now, this eight, this side of the Eight of Wands here is a little bit of a, is a little, I'm not going to lie, you guys, it's a little bit of a warning, okay? It's not a bad warning, but it's a warning nonetheless, and it's a warning from the heavens. It's like, look, you have a destiny, or there is something that you're inspired towards doing, or there is something that you need to do, and if you don't do it yourself... The universe is going to come in and do something for you. This this is this is very similar to a tower energy, tower moment, but this is kind of like that warning sign, that warning shot, right? It's that warning shot. It's like, look, you better sh. Which is funny because um because this whole time we've been talking about how no one's really rushing anyone into anything. However, for some of like I like I said in the beginning, for some of you, your ego is getting in the way. All right. And you need to just quiet that shit down and follow through with what it is you know you need you're being guided towards, all right. No, oh, but actually this was here. But then also, okay, so the eight of wands is here with the seven of swords. And this came out kind of sideways. And it's kind of, it was kind of reversed here. Um what and, and what I'm getting what I'm getting from that is Someone wants to communicate. Someone wants to send a message. Someone wants to reach out, but they're being deceptive about it. It's almost as if they're trying to sneak away from it. Okay. Here's the thing, though. Because, I mean, maybe they might be trying to avoid it. They might be trying to get away from doing what it is exactly they know they need to do. Um... The good thing, and, and, and well, let me say this, it could just be that they know they need, they know that something, or you know that something needs to happen a certain way. Maybe you need to take a certain action or, or do something specific, but I kind of feel like you, <laughs> someone might be trying to circumvent that and, and get it to happen a different way than they know is necessary or than they know is the right way to do so. And this is, again, this is kind of that, that warning energy of like, listen, buddy, we told you how this was supposed to go. We gave you the instruction. We need you to follow. Oh, there goes the ringing again. Someone needs to hear this. We need you to follow through the way we instructed you to. I mean, we didn't give you this inspiration for shits and giggles. Like, we gave you the answer. You were asking of how to do that. You were asking us how to do this. We gave you the answer. You got to follow through with this now. Um, the saving or the good thing here is I'm noticing, look at the seven of swords. You see how you, the, there's a two of swords right here? The two of swords can represent indecisiveness and denial, okay? Someone has dropped those two swords and is carrying the, the remaining five swords, right? So there is a change happening here. Now, for others of you, you could be, if you're not trying to sneak away from doing something, you, you know, the way that it needs to happen, this is you trying to sneak away, working on moving away from the past, Again, dropping those two swords of deception or uh, indecis indecisiveness or maybe even denial and taking your five remaining swords and changing your situation. I'm also seeing that with this skull here, there is an old self or an old reality that someone is moving away from. All right. Now, I say all that. To, I don't want anyone to get nervous or feel like they're being reprimanded or anything like that. It's not I, because... I mean, yes, there is an energy of, you know, your ego kind of getting in the way here. But again, it's really not all that serious. I'm not really picking up anything too bad with that because I still do feel like whether this is you, maybe this is for you that I'm communicating with who's watching this right now, or it's someone else that you're connected to or whatnot, whatever. I don't know. It doesn't matter. I just feel like you are 
inspired to move forward. You do want to move forward. And I'm hearing he, okay, so maybe we're talking to a masculine energy here, but I'm hearing you're getting ready for it, okay? Um, there's still an energy, there's still an energy of keeping trying to keep the balance here but the saving grace with this two of pentacles is that it's not this side of the card where someone is just trying to keep up appearance the dog and pony show blah 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 trying to appease others no someone is here maybe this is you or maybe this is the person that you're looking to communicate with someone is here working on maintaining a, a, a sense of balance while their ships come in okay there's still an energy of trying to decide how to move forward though seven of pentacles four of swords and it's the side of the four of swords where you see things burning down in the background all right uh, again i am picking up an energy of kind of being too focused on the past and worried about how to worried that you might not be able to do this like things that that worry kind of worried that things might be <sighs> too far gone too destroyed. Okay, that's kind of a subtle energy. The other thing, the, the, the strongest thing that I'm getting from the Four of Swords and the Seven of Pentacles here is there you might still be kind of watching some of the past burn away and just learning through the contrast, okay? Taking, taking in the lessons that you need to learn in terms of watching the past burn away, watching that subside and kind of maybe understanding how it ha why it happened or how it happened blah 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 whatnot whatever all right but you have you have a victory here i mean all three of these cards came out in the pre-shuffle six of pentacles six of wands and the nine of cups and the six and the nine <laughs> the six and the nine is a mirror image of each other i just noticed that and actually i've been noticing that a lot lately because my twin is a six and i'm a nine and we're <laughs> it's so funny we mirror each other I mean, we've been mirroring each other like crazy, but like just in that alone, he's a six, I'm a nine. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Okay. Anyway, um, and I'm and, and by that I mean that's those are our life path numbers. Okay. Um, but uh, I'm hearing satisfaction is guaranteed. I'm hearing give and take. There is you're moving into a sense of reciprocity here all right you're going through an awakening the side of the moon is very very similar to uh, you know I, I i like to equate it to like the matrix when when morpheus is giving um neo the choice to wake up or stay asleep in here this in this depiction of i'm glad i'm actually of the moon and i'm glad this came out because um i the last time this came out i didn't say it but I, 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 in retrospect or in hindsight, I recognize that I did want to say this, but this is the high priestess in this card, but she's no longer in all of her garb. She's no longer secretive. She's coming to you bare chested, um, naked in her purity, and she's giving you secrets. She's giving you the opportunity to wake up. And I find it significant that the high priestess is here and her breasts are showing because breasts are a symbol, spiritually speaking, breasts are symbolic of nurturance and this is like an opportunity for the universe the, or the universe is bringing forward an opportunity for you to gain a deeper sense of nurturance by being deeper connected by waking up from the matrix by by coming forward and, and uh, with your eyes open and seeing clearly and effectively closing out any any i'm hearing narcissistic and toxic cycles that you may have been rolling with okay rolling deep <laughs> okay <laughs> All right, this is a good energy, you guys. This is a very good energy. So I'm gonna move into clarification. And y'all know, I definitely wanna clarify this Eight of Wands with the, with the Seven of Swords here, okay? The Eight of Wands does represent cl uh, cl communication. All right, but it also represents movement, um, clear and open space. It's almost as if the universe is saying to you, "Hey, buddy, the, clear, the 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 space is open. Like, what are you doing? Like, make that move, shoot your shot. Like, go for it. What are you doing here, man? Like, come on, I'm holding this space for you." <laughs> That's kind of the vibe that I'm getting from the Eight of Wands, and someone's kind of being all like deceptive, like, "No, no, I, I, I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't think so. Maybe, maybe we could do this a different way." 
silly, silly, silly. I am going to, I definitely want to clarify that, but I'm going to use the golden universal tarot for that because I want that to come directly from spirit. What we're going to look into right now, four of swords, seven of pentacles, knight of wands, two of pentacles. I want to get a little, uh, a, uh, a closer look at these energies for you here. Okay. <laughs> yeah, with this eight of wands energy, I'm literally, I literally just heard the door is wide open. <laughs> okay. Um, wow, there goes that ringing again. Holy shit. That's the third time now. Woo. Okay. We're good. It's still going, but it's like, it's super high pitched, but I can still hear it and I can still feel it. It's, it's subsiding a little bit. Okay. I'm going to do my best to not really let it completely throw me off, but... Okay, I'm going to give this one last shuffle, and then let's look here. Let's see. Let's get a closer view of what this is for you. Yeah, here we go. Oh, fucking right. Uh, I'm going to stop there. Yes. I'm going to stop there. Well, well, well. Would you look at that? There's that two of swords. Mm-hmm. We were just talking about this two of swords. Okay, I'll do that. But then you also have the king of cups and the wheel of fortune. And then spirit is asking me to take the top three cards, the four of swords, the nine of pentacles, and the seven of cups. Okay. I am going to say this, though. The two of swords showing up here is not denial. It is indecisiveness. But, but, mm. Mm -hmm. okay, so, um, what I was just going to say, I was saying, but, and I'm saying that because part of me was thinking, you know, there's this indecisiveness, and I know I've been saying, you know, the universe is kind of saying with that seven of seven of swords and eight of wands, yo, like, shoot your shot, bro. Like, the door is wide open. What are you doing? Like, the space is, is open and clear. Just do it already. But at the same time, especially with the fact that the four of swords has come out twice in this same, sec in this same section, there is still an energy of... Um, um, trying to decide and i was thinking well that's kind of contradictory but it's not because it's actually just a moment of waiting for the right timing the wheel of fortune okay timing is of the essence here divine timing also so someone is sitting here as the king of cups ready and willing to express themselves in some way at least to a certain extent. You, I mean, this could be varying degrees here. You might be 100% ready to go, like kind of chomping at the bit to, to do it, or you could be at the other side of the spectrum where it's kind of like, well, you know you feel this love and you know you want to take move forward in this way, but there's still a little bit of hesitation, again, in some indecisiveness. You may not 100% feel all that confident, but you know you have this love. You know You know the truth about what your heart is saying to you about it, okay? And so... For some of you, the, 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 the timing here is spirit working with you to generate the confidence and the momentum for you to get going and do it. For others of you, you're literally just waiting for the right, the perfect time to strike. You're standing in your autonomy, you're standing in your independence, and you're looking at all of the different options, the plethora of ways that you could you could handle something. I'm going to be honest with you, this nine of pentacles energy right here, this is super significant. This feels really significant. This feels like someone is really this king of cups, whomever this king of cups is, maybe this is you, maybe this is a counterpart or something, whatever. I'm hearing divine masculine. Okay, great. Um, but it's like you're really, you really need to congratulate yourself right now for really being able to stand in this place what i'm getting with this nine of pentacles is that what where, where there used to be all kinds of external influences 
now you're standing on your own. You're standing on your own two feet. You're standing in your independence, your autonomy, and your sovereignty. And it's it's as if it's as if the world is your oyster because of this. And like, yeah, okay, you have you have this vision. You want to move forward towards something or someone, whether this is a relationship or a creative endeavor or a business opportunity, whatnot, whatever. It's like, yeah, you know you want that thing, but then you're also standing in this place of power and autonomy and individuality, and you're like, whoa, I really can do anything. So wait, so wait, what do I really want to do then? Mmm. This is very good. Four of Swords. It's like, okay, well, shit, if I really can do anything, then, then what else do I want to do? Wow. That's really beautiful. Okay. Okay. Um, I really... I want to, I'm going to move forward and get some more clarity here. I guess we can clarify this. The Six of Wands, the Six of Pentacles, and the Nine of Cups. I mean, it's really quite self-explanatory, but I'll give it a shot. We'll see what we get for it. Let's give this three shuffles here. Um, victory is at hand. Reciprocity, the balance of give and take, a harmonious union, a harmonious relationship. Um, financial abundance. Wish fulfillment. I'm going to give this one more shuffle. Okay. So what is this? Oh, shit, the tower. Ooh! <laughs> okay. So what is the spirit? Let's look a little deeper into these energies here. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, Justice is at the bottom of the deck. And then you have the Six of Pentacles again, but with the Four of Swords. Oh, not the Four of Swords. The Four of Wands. Union. Harmony. <laughs> the cards are like, look, I said what I said, okay? <laughs> I love it. Six of Pentacles again with the Four of Wands. You have a harmonious relationship, a harmonious and happy home life, a balanced marriage. This really could be a marriage because you do have... You have justice here that is the legal system, okay? It could represent the legal system, um, but it doesn't have to be marriage. It literally, it, honestly, it really is just bringing the scales into balance, bringing justice to your life, justice to your situation, whatever this situation is for you. If this is, re however this resonates for you, if this is resonating for you, rest assured that justice is going to be served. The scales are going to be balanced you will receive that which you are due and i don't mean that in a negative way like you've got some bad karma coming towards you that's not necessarily what i'm feeling however if maybe you haven't been on the up and up there could be some negative karma i don't feel like that's negative karma for you though for whomever i'm channeling for this is very beneficial positive karma it, it's something that you may have even been afraid that you didn't deserve or you weren't going to receive because of your actions in the past whatnot whatever the scales are going to be balanced karma is going to be served but there's going to be good karma okay I, i'm really getting very strongly a, a balanced home life um, a balanced union and marriage again because we do have the four of wands which does represent which can represent marriage we also have the, the the justice which can represent the legal system okay so making that official tying that knot um just to balance our harmonious relationship also okay very loving too like if you're looking especially with like that king of pentacles energy and this king of cups here if you're looking to start a family with someone if you're looking to build a life with some with a partner a significant other i mean the, the love that is coming through from just from the four of wands alone is immense and beautiful and like for whomever this is for congratulations buddy because you have got <laughs> you have got you've got some good shit coming to you okay and it's really all because you've done the work here and all right so i'm going to talk to the masculines for a second because i do feel like some of you are questioning it's like how with all the shitty things that i've done or all the shitty things that i've experienced or the shitty things that i've been through in the past how could i possibly be deserving of something or someone that's so great or so loving how could i even be so so deserving of someone that loves me 
so much, even through all the shit that I've put them through. It's, well, first of all, because that's your person. I mean, there's no other way around it. Like, it, you know someone is your person. And I, I actually, I posted this on my Instagram page, um, talking about how, like, a, a, a bunch of signs, at least from my point of view, where you know it's true love. And one of those things is, like, being able to be triggered by this person, go through hell and back with the person in association with them or just, in like, hand in hand with them, get, come, you know, just be... Right, or just like literally just riding the roller coaster of everyday life, but still be able to look at this person and say, I, I love you to the end of the earth. I wouldn't want, I couldn't even imagine going through all of this with anyone else but you. Okay. So with that King of Pentacles in reverse that came out earlier, you really do, if I'm, if this is resonating with you, you really need to understand that you are in fact worthy of this. This is meant for you. Okay. It, your past does not define you. Whatever you did in the past is just that. It's the past. As long as you learn from it and make a conscious effort to follow through with changing those elements and putting into what putting what you've learned into practice, then the past is not going to hold you back. As long as you are, are learning from it and growing from it and not continually perpetuating the same energies over and over and over again, knowing that it's toxic, knowing that it's bad for you, knowing that it's only going to bring you, generate you worse karma as you move forward, then of course you're worthy. Everyone is worthy. It is our God-given birthright. There is nothing that you can do. There is no crime I put that in air quotes. There's no crime that you can commit. There is no atrocity that you can commit that will ever, ever, ever strip you of your worthiness of, div of unconditional love and abundance and happiness and freedom. It is those that try to look to control you that would say, oh no, you'll never be worthy now. You're defiled. You're a waste. Do not believe them. Because they are lying to you and they are trying to take your power from you. Yes? So that is how. That is how you can be worthy of this. Because you are a child of God. You are a child of the divine. And each and every one of us is just as worthy as the next. And we will never not be worthy. Period. Okay. <laughs> so with that said, I want to get this last bit of clarification here. From the Golden Universal Tarot on this Eight of Wands, Seven of Swords. Now, this doesn't have to be as bad as I was putting it out. Okay, well, the, the Seven of Swords only wanted to come out. This could just be someone, yes, looking to really set the record straight, um, make some sudden strong declaration, come in hot and heavy, maybe even come in like a wrecking ball, <laughs> like a wrecking ball with that Knight of Wands energy too. Um, but they're just, they're being secretive about it. They're not really saying anything about it yet. This doesn't have to be bad. This doesn't have to be a situation where the universe is like saying to you, yo, buddy, like shoot your shot. What the hell are you doing, man? The door's wide open. For some of you, that's what it is. For others of you, that's not necessarily it. It could just be that <clears throat> someone is just being secretive about it right now. But let me tell you, there is some momentum here. There is, it's like there's a, it's like a bubble is building and it's about to pop, okay? But I want to get Spirit's final take here on this Eight of Wands, Seven of Swords. And then we'll see what we've got here. But I highly, yes, I highly recommend that y'all check out that Janet Jackson song, Because of Love. It's a great song. And quite, to be quite honest, it's a great album. That's, that's Janet. That's the album that gave us... That's the way love goes. And if, let me tell you, y'all, if is my motherfucking jam. <laughs> okay, I still rock out hardcore to that song. <sighs> anyway, okay. <laughs> Eight of Wands, Seven of Swords. What do you have to say about this spirit? Uh-oh. Okay, well, it didn't fall off the table. That's a good thing. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. For sure. And then I'm going to take the top three. Four. 
that's enough. I don't know. Uh, just take them. It's okay. All right. Oh. <laughs> okay. 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 Uh, okay. I'm going to be honest with you guys. There is an element of fear here. There is an element of fear. Um, okay. So what spirit has to say about this? Three of Pentacles, Strength, and the Wheel of Fortune. There is still, divine timing is absolutely at play here, okay? So for many of you, this is really just a situation in which if this is you, or, or well, whomever this is for, whether this is actually you, if you're the one, if you're watching this right now and you're resonating with this message, or this is someone connected to you, I don't know, but whomever this is for, there is still an element of them working on themselves, uh, uh, self-mastery. Three of Pentacles, okay? Still working on themselves, still trying to tame the beast, even maybe trying to, you know, um, gain some sort of self-control, uh, tame their ego also. Wheel of Fortune, divine timing, okay? Timing is absolutely at play here, but look, you have the chariot. The chariot almost fell off the table, okay? <laughs> but luckily, it didn't, but you have the chariot here also with the Two of Wands, so someone is really trying to decide how to move forward. Okay, but then you have this is the these are the toxic elements here. You have you have the devil with the ace of wands, and it's like you have this inspiration, you know that you want to move in this direction, but it's like it's that energy of like as soon as you are aware of what it is that you want and you start, you know, gearing up to take action for it towards it, that's when the devil starts trying to trying to get you off your path. Okay. So it's like you're sandwiched here between the devil. You're, you're in the middle as the Ace of Wands with having this desire to move forward, being inspired towards something, maybe a new creative project or a new life, whatnot, whatever. You want to create something new. You are in the center of that, but you're sandwiched between the fear that the devil is bringing forward and the the higher calling, the wisdom, the higher wisdom and the, and the, 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 the wake-up call and the call to action, maybe even call to arms of judgment here okay which is leaving which is leaving you feeling like you're in between a rock and a hard place <clears throat> eight of swords um now the page of swords here is kind of a blessing the page of swords is representing you watching someone or maybe someone watching you um but this could be you know you watching the situation or the circumstance trying to figure out how to trying to figure out how to go about this because you feel stuck with this eight of swords energy here you're really not quite sure of how to do this however the saving grace though with the page of swords is this is that that energy that is really going to help you break free of the stagnation break free of this eight of swords mentality feeling like you're stuck maybe even feeling like you're not good enough two of pentacles here balance balance between the two of you harmony between the two of you if this is you and like a significant other or something. <laughs> That's enough. Okay. All right. But ultimately, this is a good thing. I would say it, this really kind of is, this really does look like that scene where you have the devil on one shoulder and the angel on the other. And honestly... The one thing I want to say to you here is it's not even worth it to listen to the devil. That's just, I mean, yeah, it could, it could be your ego, right? And that's what we see here with strength, because strength can represent the ego, taming the beast, right? So, so this devil energy really kind of just is your ego. And I don't want to, I don't want to completely discredit the ego because the ego is definitely necessary. We're never going to completely get rid of it. It's not about killing off the ego. It's more about get putting it in its place. And, and I don't mean that in a disrespectful way, but it's like, okay, well, thank you for the warnings or thank you for your input. I really appreciate it. But at the same time, you're not driving the ship here. And what I really need to do is just focus on what the universe is telling me here. So don't even listen to the devil on your shoulder, right? Put your focus on the divine guidance that you're getting from judgment here. The higher calling that's coming towards you. Oh, shit. I just realized that the Wheel of Fortune is reversed. Was it reversed before or did I turn it reversed? Well, well, well. 
That kind of changes the narrative, don't you think? It's time to get moving. Now someone is stalling. Now someone is procrastinating. It's time to get moving. Wow. Okay. That makes a lot more sense. Look. Shoot your shot. That's what I'm hearing. And that's actually, that's what I've been hearing this whole time. Shoot your damn shot, man. <laughs> the chariot with the two of wands. You've made your decision. It's time to get going. You don't have to. Okay. What I'm getting with the three of pentacles here now is you don't have to have everything worked out on your own before this gets going. The three of pentacles, yes, is about um, self-mastery and working on yourself and building a foundation. But also the three of pentacles is about um, working together, teamwork, right? We had the three of pentacles somewhere else, didn't we? Oh, right. It was in the pre-shuffle. It was underneath the Ten of Wands. Yes. Okay. You see? All right. The Three of Pentacles in the pre-shuffle was underneath the Ten of Wands. Someone is trying to do something all on their own. I'm hearing it's the Divine Masculine. Masculine, you are trying to do something all on your own. It's like you're you're. It's like you're trying to have every single element of your life that you want to have together with your counterpart, with your feminine or whatnot. It's like you want to have everything in order before you even approach the feminine. And that's not necessary. You two are meant to be working together. So yes, there are some elements to your life that you need to get in check first before, you know, you got to do some self mastery. You've got to work on yourself a little bit. But when it comes to the actual physical, the physicality of your lives together, you masculine don't have to have all of the material things in place first. You two can manifest this together. And that's where in the beginning of the reading, in the pre-shuffle, where you had that 10 of wands with the three of pentacles underneath that, that's also a message saying you two can work together. You don't have to carry all of that weight on your own. The feminine would love to be there for you, to help you carry that weight, to help you to, to be your partner in crime. Okay. So now also what the two of pentacles underneath the deck here is saying to you guys, it's like, okay, well, look, you gotta, you gotta find balance here. You can't do this all on your own. Two heads are better than one, right? Find the harmony, find the union, find the balance between the two of you, and then really work on continuing to build your foundation, the foundation of your lives. Okay. Awesome. 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 Oracle guidance. Let's go with the dragons today. Excuse me. I burped it. Okay. The dragons. You know what's funny? In the beginning, when I started doing morning coffee, I wanted to keep these readings fairly short, maybe like a half an hour. And then they started going to like 45 minutes. And I was like, you know what? That's actually a really good place to be. And now they seem to be going to an hour. I don't mind spending an hour with you guys every morning. If you don't mind, then hey, I mean, obviously you don't mind. You're still here listening to me right now, aren't you? <laughs> okay. All right. All right. So your Oracle guidance for today. There it is right there. The rainbow dragon. Holy shit. Whoa. <laughs> First of all, that card has, this card has never come out before. In all the time that I've been using this deck, this card has never come out before. And this, the ra rainbow is actually a symbol for me personally, and has been a symbol for a while. Um, uh, for me in terms of like the, the twin flame journey and all that you know how there are a lot of a lot of people will be out there and be like okay well ask your spirit guides or ask spirit for a sign right and so i was like okay well i want my sign to be a rainbow this was <sighs> that janet song is playing in my head again um it's because of love by janet jackson off the the janet album but um it was June of 2018. Yes, it was June of 2018 because it was 
it was it, um, because it was during Pride Month here in the city. And I, of course, I asked for a rainbow at that time, which was like, are you kidding me, Eric? That's one of the easiest. You are going to see rainbows everywhere for, <laughs> for the next month. Like, and then I was like, okay, well, maybe I should pick a better sign, but I never actually did. Um, but Spirit has been consistently bringing that sign back to me over and over and over ever since then. And I do remember specifically because I was on my, the first time I saw that sign in action, I was on my way to school because I was in school at the time. And I had just declared that I wanted to see, like, if this is real, if this person is my twin flame, blah, 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 then show me a rainbow. And I, and I did. I was walking to school and someone had parked their car on 18th Street because my school was on 18th Street. And I was walking down 18th Street and I looked at their car. It was a it was a Volkswagen Beetle and they had a Mickey Mouse head hanging from the rear view mirror and it was a rainbow. Boop. <laughs> that was the first time the, the sign really kicked in for me. But now here we go. Rainbow Dragon is the sign here. And this says brings the leap of joy that opens new doors five 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 i just saw five 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 on the counter and what was i hearing with this eight of wands here the door is wide open have trust rediscover wisdom expect miracles accept opportunities you see you see that right you see that i mean i'm not making this up right oh, oh okay okay all right i mean just just so just so we're clear <laughs> Okay, um, Rainbow Dragon. Rainbow Dragon. Where are you, Rainbow Dragon? Give me a minute here. Oh, there you are. It's a fifth dimensional dragon. Huh. Well, isn't that fitting? Fifth dimensional. Hmm. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm so, I'm being so silly right now. Rainbow Dragon. Okay, here we go. So, about this card. Come on, focus. Thank you. A rainbow in the sky is a cosmic gift. If our heart leaps with joy and gratitude when we see one, the universe opens new doors for us. Glorious rainbow dragons carry the same promise. When they come to us, a multicolored mystical flame ignites within us. This automatically attracts something of significance from the universe towards us. In addition, Rainbow dragons will take us to the mystical plot, pot of gold that is said to await us at the end of the rainbow. This golden gift is our own ancient wisdom, which has been waiting for us to rediscover it. With it, we know how to take knowledge and use it for the highest good of all. We become a wise one, a mage, and a rainbow dragon opens the petals of our crown to connect us with universal knowledge. As we use knowledge wisely, more comes to us. And I do want to say that my pot of gold at the end of the rainbow is absolutely my twin. But you know what? That's fine. I don't have to. I, whatever. <laughs> okay. Anyway, the guidance here says, this is a card of hopes, prayers, expectation, and gratitude. <clears throat> Look for opportunities. Expect miracles. When new openings occur, seize them. Sometimes you may hardly dare to believe that good fortune has sought you out, so make sure you accept it consciously and unconsciously. Do not let it slip away. Remember to thank the rainbow dragon who has come to you for opening new doors. Ride with the current of life this dragon has brought you and enjoy everything that comes your way. A rainbow dragon may feel like an illusion, but it is very real. If you catch the flash of rainbow colors out, the, out of the corner of your eye, it is your rainbow dragon reminding you that the time for a new life is now. Trust that it will happen for you. Wow. Can't make this shit up, right, guys? <laughs> okay. Well, anyway, there you have it. I hope this was helpful for you. Thank you so much for tuning in. Please, please, please. Join us, if you can, tonight for happy hour slash birthday party for the channel. Um, open unboxing is going to be first uh, during, the happy, during the live session here, but I am going to go live on Instagram initially, like around like 5.15ish Eastern Standard Time, and then the ha official happy hour session will start 
um, five, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time here on YouTube. And I do have information in the description box below if you would like to get a reading. Yes, I love you guys so much. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee tomorrow morning. Yeah, take care. Mwah! Bye.